Well, in just a few minutes, we're going to go see Sandra and Laura. Sandra and Laura came in from Arizona to here to Southern California to have bunion surgery. They both found me online searching for the best bunion surgeon in the United States. Sandra's foot was extremely complicated to correct. Uh, it was super severe. It took me probably two to three times longer than the average bunion operation that I normally perform. But what we're gonna do is compare the results. In other words, how did one patient fare out as compared to the other one? So we're gonna to talk to both Sandra and Laura and see how they both did. And they both came together and stayed together at the same resort to recover. And we'll be going in just shortly to see how that turned out for them. Okay, well, this is um, Laura and Sandra. And I just want to show them an x-ray of a consultation that I'm going to be doing shortly on this patient who, who's going to be flying in from Chicago. The surgeon chose to do a fusion of the joint, which I think is highly unnecessary in 99% of the time because you can restore the function and, and maintain the joint. But in this case, they added a plate and seven screws. And unfortunately, it still didn't fuse. She's got an, a non-union in here as well. So that's going to have to be completely redone but what I'm gonna do is take all of it out and restore the joint for her to make it function normally once again. And it creates other problems like hyperextension of that joint there or problems even in this joint back here. Anyway, uh, it just goes to show you that uh, you gotta do your homework and find out your options. That particular procedure would be the last resort. There's a lot of other procedures you can do to correct this type of problem, but that would be the last thing that any surgeon should choose to do. All right, anyway, we're gonna now go to your x-ray. This is Sandra's foot from before and after. We can see on the before x-ray how huge of a bunion she has here. Her sesamoids are dislocated way over there. The toe's leaning really hard to the left here as compared to a straight line up this way and then it's going that way. And this joint here is completely dislocated. The toe's literally sitting out of the socket on top of the bone. So afterwards, we can look at this area here and here and it's now in straight alignment. We actually had to shorten that bone in order to get this toe to fall back into place and straighten out the entire toe. We removed a little bit of bone out of here as well. And you can see what a drastic difference is. There's no more bone hanging out over here. These sesamoids are perfectly aligned right here. I say it's a hair overcorrected, which is a good thing because it wants to go back into slight valgus. At the end of the day, when she starts stepping on it, this bone's gonna move out a couple of millimeters to the right and it'll be perfectly aligned. Okay, so let's take a look at your foot. Well, here it is. Now, just five days after surgery. You can see there, the wound is fresh. And we're gonna wiggle your toe a little bit. Does that hurt? No. No? No. Nope. No pain at all? No pain Matter of fact, all. once the numbness were off, how much pain did you have? I had no pain. You had no pain. And you guys came together, found yes. me online by Googling best bunion surgeon in the United States. Uh -huh. If you Google best bunion surgeon in the world, I'd still show up first. That's awesome. <laughs> How did your foot turn out? Perfect. No pain? No pain. So you guys had similar experience having surgery on the same day, back to back, one right after the other, correct? Yep. Yes. We were up on the veranda having mm -hmm. dinner and drinks that night. <laughs> oh, shh. Don't talk about the pain. Okay. Stop. Because <laughs> okay. you weren't on any pain medication, right? We weren't. Right. So if you're not on any pain medication, yeah. you can do whatever you pretty yeah. much want to do. Yeah. And now we're just going to redress them, get you guys in this nice walking boot, and we'll see how well you guys can walk. So, similar experiences, correct? Yes, yes. Yeah. We can even fess up that we went to Saks Fifth Avenue when oh, shopping. How about that? Yes, and we did. <laughs> so, you, were, you actually had a consultation prior to coming here with another surgeon. What did they have to say to you? I was going to be down at least six to eight weeks. It was the most painful surgery. I just had no confidence at all. I did not feel good about the whole thing. Now, what gave you the confidence to come here, by the way, without even meeting me? Um, booking up your surgery and you didn't even meet me. It was watching the six part YouTube video of the reporter who went through the whole experience. I see. Was the clincher. I see. I was like, okay. That's Kimber's story. Kimber's story. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I went, okay, sign me up. Because mm -hmm. I stand for a living and mm -hmm. I can't afford for this to go awry. Right. And you have tremendous pain here and tremendous now that's pretty pain. much all gone. Yeah. That callus will diminish because the pressure will no longer be there because this toe is completely dislocated. Let's see how the toes are all nice and straight now, compared to what it used to look like. Yeah. That over there. I have walked on my heel and outside of my foot for two years, so 
It'll be nice. There it is, the before and after picture that she's going to get a bunch of these cards and she'll be able to hand them out to whoever asks her about money survey. <laughs> That's great. Awesome. Okay. So why don't you walk towards the door yes. and come back. Do that, you're walking right away. Pretty easy to walk, huh? Very easy to walk. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> wow. Pretty good, huh? Yeah. Awesome.